Hey everybody, it's I Want to Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a macOS Ventura VM in Proxbox. To get started, we need to download or create a macOS Ventura installation ISO and also download the KVM OpenCore bootloader ISO. Navigate to the downloads directory and extract the downloaded OpenCore gzip archive. You should be left with an OpenCore ISO file. We can delete the gzip file at this point. I've configured a Samba share on my Proxmox where I store my installation media, so I'll copy the OpenCore ISO there. Otherwise, you can upload the ISO via the Proxmox web UI. Next, open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. Right click on the target Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name. I'll be using the VM ID 1300 in this example. On the OS tab, select the storage where the ISO was uploaded, then select the Open Core ISO. Set the type to Other and click Next. On the System tab, set the graphics card to VMware compatible and the machine to Q35. Then set the BIOS to OVMF. Select the storage device to store the EFI disk on and uncheck Pre and Roll keys. On the Disks tab, set the bus device to Vert IO block, then set the storage device and set the disk to at least 40 gigabytes. Set the cache to write back unsafe and click next. On the CPU tab, give the VM at least four cores and set the type to host, click next. Give the VM at least four gigs of memory and click next. On the network tab, set the model to the VMware option, then click next. Review the summary and click finish. Select the new Mac OS VM and then select hardware from the sub navigation menu. Click the Add drop-down and select CD DVD Drive. Then select the storage location where the Ventura ISO is and select it. Then click Add. Next, select the Proxmox node name on the left navigation, then select Shell to connect to a terminal emulator. Using the command in the description, edit the macOS VM configuration file. Copy the arg string for the type of CPU the host is running and paste it at the top of the configuration file. Then arrow down to the two IDE devices and edit the media equals CD-ROM, replacing it with cache equals unsafe. Save the changes to the file by pressing Ctrl plus O, and then exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. Select the macOS Ventura VM, then right click on it and start to power it on. Then select console from the sub-navigation menu. After the Proxmox BIOS, we should boot to the open core menu. Press enter to launch the UEFI shell. Press a key to activate the shell, then type fs0 colon and press enter. Then type system backslash library backslash core services backslash boot.efi and press enter to start the macOS installer. After a few moments, we should reach the macOS recovery menu. Double click on disk utility. Select the vert IO block media. Then click on erase. Name the device macOS and click erase. After the device has been initialized, click Done and close the disk utility. Now double click the Install Mac OS option. Click Continue, then click Agree and Agree again. Finally, select the Mac OS disk and click Continue. At this point it's just a waiting game. As Mac OS is installed, the VM will reboot several times and you'll need to press Enter at the Open Core menu to continue the installation process. After several progress bars and VM reboots, you'll reach the macOS sysprep asking you to select your region. Select your country or region and click continue. Verify the language settings. If you need to make changes, click customize settings, otherwise click continue. Click not now at the accessibility screen, then continue on the data and privacy screen. Click not now on the migration assistant, and then set up later on the Apple ID screen, and then skip to confirm. Click Agree to the Terms and Conditions, and then Agree again. On the Create Account page, enter their full name, username, and password, and click Continue. Click Continue on the Enable Location Services page, then click Don't Use to confirm. Click your location on the map to select your time zone, then click Continue. Choose if you'd like to share macOS analytics, then click continue. Then click setup later for screen time. 
Select if you'd like to use the light or dark theme and click continue. At the keyboard assistant screen, press the key next to your left shift key and then next to your right shift key and click done. We now have macOS Ventura running in a Proxmox VM. We need to configure the EFI so it can boot without the ISO attached. Launch Safari from the application dock. Then download the KVM OpenCore EFI folder from GitHub. We'll also need to download the mount EFI command utility. After both downloads have completed, if you load Finder and look at the downloads location, you should have an EFI folder and a Mount EFI update folder. Start Launchpad from the application dock, then search for Terminal and select Terminal from the results. Change directory to downloads slash Mount EFI dash update. We'll use the chmod command to make Mount EFI dot command executable. Then execute mount efi.command. When prompted, type Y and press enter to install Python. Type the number that corresponds to the macOS storage device and press enter, 2 in this example. After a few seconds, the script will mount the efi directory so you can navigate to it in Finder. Open Finder and navigate to the downloads directory and copy the downloaded efi folder. Then select the mounted efi location on the left side of the screen and paste the copied efi folder. Once the copy process has completed, shut down the VM by clicking the Apple logo in the top left corner and selecting Shut Down. Back in the Proxbox web UI, select the macOS VM in the left navigation, then select Hardware. Click on the hard disk that has the OpenCore ISO attached and click Detach and then Yes to confirm. Then power on the VM to verify that OpenCore will boot without the ISO attached. If everything is working correctly, the OpenCore menu should show. Press Enter to boot macOS. Log back in with the password set up during the installation. Welcome to macOS Ventura, running as a Proxmox VM.